Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Welcome back everybody. Um, so this is going to be a general love reading for Virgos. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There is a link in the description box below. I'm running a special to the end of February if you would like to get a personal reading with me. All right, you guys. Hello, everybody in the chat. Let's get started. I hope you had a awesome, vagical, happy Valentine's Day. All right, let's take a look. What are your messages, Virgo? What is the drama today? Okay, camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past and making memories. Okay, somebody, somebody, somebody's working with a camera, taking pictures, taking selfies. Uh, somebody's looking at someone's pictures or looking at somebody's selfies could be or <clears throat> maybe just doing some photography okay we have not enough <clears throat> let's go deep and we have hammer okay hmm not enough pic someone can't get enough of your pictures someone cannot get enough of your pictures if you've got pictures up or pictures out there somewhere I feel like there's <laughs> Virgo I feel like somebody's wanting to rebuild a relationship um, maybe somebody's taking pictures or doing some hmm building um, okay building something and taking pictures of what they're building right I know I don't know if somebody's posting something like that or just building a portfolio of something they're creating or building um, <clears throat> let's see it, this is an energy of wanting to work on something okay um, now somebody could be working on getting some photography done of themselves and um, yeah I'm just getting that message with the, the overall message here is frustration in some kind of a relationship um, there's some jealousy somebody's jealous of your photos I don't know exactly what that means but let's take a look let's go into the tarot and see what the messages are here for you okay we have some drama we have some conflict and some challenges okay wow Virgo, you are looking amazing right now, and I feel like you're showing yourself off in some way, or you're doing something differently. Maybe you've been rebuilding yourself. It could be very aesthetic energy for some, um, working on your physique, things like that. Um, some of you could be, <clears throat> maybe you're boxing, or you're doing some kind of um, team sport, or um, maybe just doing some cardio, taking some classes or something along those lines. You're really leveling up and I feel like you're you're putting that out there um, or you're, or you're <laughs> taking pictures of yourself, I don't know, or somebody's seeing it and they can't get enough of either seeing photos that you're posting or just in real life they're taking a snapshot in their mind. Um, somebody wants to make memories of with you um, it's kind of like a photographic mind I'm just hearing they just gave me that song photograph from Def Leppard I feel like I got that before um, somebody I, it, it's an energy of like I can't just keep looking at your pictures I want to see you these these photos are not enough okay photos are not enough Wow so we have Leo energy here very positive energy you're looking good somebody sees you looking good um, maybe you're out in the sun or you live somewhere in a sunny area you're out um, this feels like a very aesthetic thing um, and it doesn't mean to say that you're not working on other areas of your life but it feels like the physical aspect is really beginning to show what you're you're doing something um, your expose ex exposure like a camera um, a lot of light on you at this time somebody sees that it's like this like a spotlight being shown on you are you putting yourself in the spotlight I see you very independent you're s single you're solo you're going after your own pleasures your wishes you're putting money in the bank um, dressing better yeah it feels like a very aesthetic reading <laughs> 
and I feel like somebody is just like they can't get enough they can't get enough of what you're showing what you're doing and there's it feels like maybe there's some challenges to a connection here there's a lot of fear and some ego issues with someone that is looking at you or watching you um, they're feeling very insecure which really you know not your problem but um, this is the energy that I'm picking up from whoever this person is okay look at you you've got the six of wands so I was saying like in the spotlight you've got an audience <laughs> Virgo you've got an audience you have people cheering you on um, and it's not like unhealthy ego it's it's really positive energy I feel like somebody's recognizing you or you're getting recognition you know um, you're in a victorious place in your life or somebody sees you that way um, you're, you're rebuilding is what I what I'm picking up here and somebody sees you rebuilding and sees you doing very well and you are you're putting it out there okay and you're working really hard on whatever you're doing in your life you're being quite persistent and consistent okay and there might be some drama around this somebody sees um, that there's some competition perhaps or you're putting yourself in a position where this person is now thinking oh I have a little competition is what I'm picking up here okay let's see what else is going on oh my gosh ace of cups yeah there's a new love start happening here 100% new love is coming in new potential love start okay you're gonna get some communication from somebody quite smitten with you very passionate about you this is somebody who's gonna ask you out or they want to ask you if you want to do something it could be connected to um, any kind of physical activity that you're doing but this person okay really with this song I'm almost embarrassed to say that this song has popped into my head because I really feel like it's they're dating me. I must have like my angel guides must be as old as I am, but I'm just hearing <laughs> let's get physical. Do you remember that song? It just came into my head. Olivia Newton John, let's get physical. <laughs> I feel like somebody is kind of has a, a thing for you here. Um, it's very aesthetic, very physically attracted to you, Virgo. You're just looking really good. And I don't feel like you are doing anything on purpose. You're not trying to rile anybody up here. Or if it's an ex, uh, you're not per You're just doing you. And it's very attractive to this person. So uh, Virgo, expect some kind of message from somebody. Um, the page, it could be like a note or like a, a, a note left on your car or which, you know, it's bizarre. Maybe you'll get a piece of mail. Um, the page always feels to me like it's um, writing of some sort. <clears throat> okay, so let me see. It's something creative that I feel like somebody's going to send to you. You know, like <clears throat> uh, some kind of creative message. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. We have Leo here twice. So I don't know if some of you are connecting with a Leo. So we have strength, two of cups. Okay, this could be connected to some of your work, but somebody, I feel like you're going to get asked out or somebody wants to meet you, <clears throat> have coffee, drinks, dinner, whichever. Um, it's interesting, Eight of Pentacles energy, I feel like this person, it's kind of like some part of the message I feel like you're going to receive is, you know, I'm working, um, but um, can you come to where I'm working or... Can you meet me on like a lunch break or uh, like for a lunch date for some? Um, I just feel like somebody's really interested here in building something with you, creating something. And, and I see you really, some of you are really getting yourselves, which I commend you for, in good physical shape. Um, you've been working on your soul stuff. You've been working on your emotional, your mental, um, but your physical aspect, which is very important as well. I see you preparing yourselves to get in really good physical shape as well. Not 
copying, but to just be in the best shape that you can be in physically for yourself. Maybe you're starting Weight Watchers or you're doing some kind of, um, maybe you're fasting or you are just, you know, lowering your carb intake, you're changing your diet, <clears throat> as well as doing some physical activity, which is great, so that you can be prepared and be ready to meet someone or attract someone. You want to feel your best. And I really see you here putting in the effort putting in the effort and you're also like documenting your effort some of you might be actually documenting weight loss on social media or you are um, just doing it for yourself keeping like um, kind of like a video documentary of what you're doing as well like befores and afters and some of you are um, getting like that's a goal you're setting for yourselves and um, or even and for those of you you know even if you're not doing that it's just just getting like better making yourself better building yourself up and you're putting it out there is what I see and you're getting a lot of attention and, and I feel like whoever this person is is like ooh, this is a challenge you're presenting some kind of a challenge here with the five of wands um, maybe you're doing some I'm just saying some kind of obstacle training I don't know what that means as well maybe you're doing some martial arts or you're, you're doing a uh, crossfit or doing some hit or something along those lines um but i also feel like you're because you're doing this um you're you're gonna be you've got some some people or someone in particular gen you're generating interest i see you gaining strength here so maybe you're weightlifting you're doing some physical workouts you know I don't know, you're pushing tires around, who knows, but you are, it's taken a lot of courage for you to do this and get up and do it every day for some reason. Um, but I see you like you're gaining strength, physical strength as well. Um, let me see here. I want to get a couple more. Well, you know what? I want to, let me pull some clarifications. So I'm going to look at this, the sun card here. Okay. What is this exposure? What is somebody seeing? What is this bright light? It, it's like clarity. It's like being able to see now because everything is transparent. You're being very transparent at this time. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. That's just right after the Nine of Pentacles. It's all about you right now, Virgo. It's This is your card. You're just, you're solo. You're single. You're living your best life. Okay, I see you like, maybe you're going to buy a new car, you're buying some luxuries for yourselves. Um, you're really self-sufficient. I feel like you are, some of you started your own business or you're working on that. Um, your gains are coming in, financial gains, and you're just doing for yourself, which is really great. What do we have here? Okay, five of swords energy. So you're just cutting away, you're carving away things that are not useful to you. And that could be not necessarily people it could be but it's also you know cutting those sandbags so that you can lift off um get rid of sugar in your diet maybe you're stopping drinking some of you are quitting smoking or you already have some of you are um just cutting out the the unhealthy things in your life whatever it is people places and things which is really good okay really really good and that's taking a lot of courage and strength for you at this time so because of this it feels like you're generating interest okay especially from someone in particular now let me see okay Ooh, seven of swords you see how that just flipped out i wasn't asking but um this kind of gives me a sense some of you have run away from something that just wasn't working out for you um run away or you snuck away um just kind of went behind the scenes to just do you you didn't make any grand statements or announcements you just went behind the scenes backstage and looked and you're doing some things in private what you're working on with yourself and what you're put what you're putting out there is some of you are putting yourselves in a position to attract love to attract whomever okay but i do want to know um now i just heard there might see, be some deception, but I feel like it's maybe with the photos. <laughs> uh, some of you might be looking at people who are deceptive with their photos and you're trying to be more transparent 
with yours to show who you really are you know all your flaws and all your all your wonderful attributes as well all right who is this person that's what I want to know okay well this is someone that you may <clears throat> All right, well, this is someone who is in a very contemplative state in the sense where uh, they think before they act, okay? Um, Seven of Pentacles energy is more along the lines of like someone who's real patient and waiting is uh, delays, 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 delays things. Likes to think about things before they make a full-on decision, okay? Um, they like to think about is this <clears throat> is something here um do they want to indulge that's what they just said this person is they suss it out is this is this someone is virgo someone i can indulge in okay is this someone who like is this my wish come true you know um i feel like you've got somebody here who you know some people are just you know like oh yeah definitely and others are just they take their time um also hmm if you Virgo, I'm just going to keep it real. If you had um, a little weight on you, okay, um, this person I feel like has is watching you um, de-weight. <laughs> and um, in some way, I just want to say that if this person wasn't interested to date you because you had too much weight on you, then they should fuck off because that's really harsh and shallow. And so, you know, I'm going to let you understand for yourself if that's someone that you were involved with or if this is someone who is coming in and is interested in you now because you've done something different. I mean, I feel like maybe this person has a preference and this is just a small message for some of you. And for others, this person is also inspired by you because you are doing something that they were not able to do in other words this person might be in a position where they want to get better physically and um, they're watching you do it and they're like wow how do i do that how is virgo doing that what do i do what do i have to do to get to where virgo is so for some of you it could just be a message that someone who is emotionally inspired by you and they reach out to you and they want to talk to you and ask you questions so it could be a friend or a colleague or something along those lines okay yeah as far as love goes i feel like this is someone who is is definitely watching you and they know that you're like a jackpot prize to them they see you as like a trophy prize like a wish come true and i feel like they've been watching you for quite some time and that's why i was picking up the images watching your images and seeing um they're just very strongly attracted to you what so I'm also picking up, so we had Leo here twice, and then we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, and we have Taurus. Yeah, look at all this hesitation, nine of wands. This person's, um, you know, a little bit insecure as well, but very, very much in a position of hesitating, uh, watching you. That's just what I feel, watching you behind the scenes secretively. But they, they are going to reach out. Uh, I feel coming up very soon okay we have the king of Pentacles so this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy so this is somebody who comes through as being very stable they're finance oriented um, this is someone who might be like an investor or uh, male or female they're um, like a practical pragmatic type of a person um, very solid energy <clears throat> quite reserved uh, very focused on business. They might own a business or they are um, Could be an accountant or someone in a, works in a bank or does something with finances and stuff along those lines, okay um, So it feels like you are just really doing you right now. That's that's really what the energy is I'm not picking up any deep psychological thing going on here at all 
I just feel like somebody's got their eye on you and they're either very inspired by you or they're also very attracted to you the way you're presenting yourself now you've crossed some kind of thresh thresh hold in your life and um if you haven't just yet done that you're working on that or you're, you've been thinking about doing something different or just trying to get yourself ready for you know um uh, another season the next season coming up or trying to be in better health what else do you want to tell me about this person yeah they're watching you absolutely um i feel like this person also does some kind of heavy lifting as well um i don't know if that's like maybe it's somebody if you go to a gym or you work out this person's there they're lifting heavy weights you know they do this physical labor type of energy um yeah i feel like for those of you who are in participate in some kind of physical activity in a place or somewhere where it's done or could even be outside wherever it is this person is there as well and that's when it's interesting too um, because I was thinking the Hierophant, and this, it was at the bottom here. So this represents institutions or corporations or buildings or something like that. So it could be at a gym um, or, a, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a gym. It could just be like, uh, maybe it's yoga. Whatever you do, it's in a place. Okay, here you are, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, why are you showing up here? Yeah, look at you, Virgo. You have oodles of new opportunity coming in here to, for you, okay? Now, I don't know. this For some of you, you made the determination if this is someone that you were connected with in the past. could be somebody new. Um, you know, the way I describe this person, you'll know. I'm not getting any... I'm not getting any past energy here. I'm... Um, it doesn't mean it's not though so i think i need to clarify that for you but you have got like the horizon mapped out in front of you here you're looking you're looking to see what else is out there in your life this is what's going on here this three of wand energy you know you're expanding <laughs> some of you are thinking about how to stop expanding <laughs> you know you come off the holidays it's like oh my gosh i had way too many candy canes you know um but you're definitely like waiting as well for this golden ticket to come in okay um i'm hearing like the big day the big payoff so if you've got goals set you might have a goal that's set and you're working towards that goal and i see you being very focused here on that goal some of you are uh, as in virgo style and fashion some of you are keeping like um a notebook you're keeping a log like i was saying in the beginning you're you're writing stuff down on your calendar you're checking in every day you're keeping track of your weight your heart rate your blood pressure you know your all of that you're, you're being very organized some of you are planning or thinking about maybe you've got some apps you're working with uh, maybe you have like a fitness step app or something you're working on that you're you're just really doing something here with yourself and for some of you it really doesn't have anything to do with weight it could have just to do with your health maybe some of you are looking at maybe there's a family uh, history of heart disease or there's um, diabetes or maybe you're worried about cancer like you're really getting yourselves into um, or will be getting yourselves into a really good place in your life you know I say all the time it's you know you're going to the um, the spiritual gym you know the gym can be a very or working out or fitness has a huge effect on our mental state and our emotional state as well and I don't feel like we should just be only praying and meditating I do feel like um, we should be um, working out all of areas of our lives like our spiritual health our mental health our physical health you know going going in and doing fitness and I feel like this is a lot to do with that right now and we're, we're that feels like more of the topic of what we're talking about today that uh, working on that aspect as well is very important because when you feel physically better your mental state changes you have more positivity in your life when you get stronger and healthier um, your mind you sleep better you get more sleep so I feel like a lot of that is playing out here um, 
and and some of it does have to do not so much with um changing up like maybe you're doing vegan or you're just going to stop vegan maybe you're going to do more carnivore paleo choosing different you know pescatarian doing different kind of um um uh, nutritional changes but some of you are doing more cut out of nutritional changes do you know what i mean okay so yeah look at this page of cups you're not just getting one but you're getting two you're getting two messages somebody's going to come uh, reach out to you in a more emotional way as well you've got passion here a very passionate physical passionate communication coming from somebody and also emotional and it could be the same person but it could also be two different people okay um flirting it's a it's flirtation it's an energy of it could be new love you could have both you could have someone from before uh, messaging you and saying you look really good you're looking good i'm really attracted to you what did you do like all that stuff but then there's also someone who's um flirting or it could be both okay it's good though it's good it, no matter what it is <laughs> It's all about you, right, Virgo? Because you're feeling better, you're working on yourself, you're doing better. Um, and it kind of is like when you're focused on yourself and you're feeling better about yourself, you're really not down in the dumps about the past things that you've been through in your life. You know, um, I feel like when you get your body set, that gets your mind set, that gets your emotional self set, and there's like that kind of hope comes back into your life again. Okay, yeah, look, now you got the Page of Swords. So here's another part, um, another piece of communication coming in as well, um, where I feel like somebody's very curious and there's communication coming in. There's like spying or somebody's been watching you. I feel like you have, I got to tell you what, Virgo, it, this could be past and future or present, but you've got a lot of support around you and a lot of people looking at you right now. You are looking just, they're looking at your physical. You're looking good. You're doing something. You're doing something. All right, let me see. What else going on here? Okay. Oh my gosh. You got to be kidding. Four pages. Four. Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Virgo. We also have Taurus energy here, and I, oh, I did say that. So I, I don't know what the heck, a lot of offers, a lot of communication coming in for you, um, or it's one person who is touching on every element, you know, um, asking you out, expressing uh, flirtation, emotional uh, attraction, uh, asking about ideas and plans and um, offering, uh, say, saying, could for some it's like, uh, I would like, I wonder if you might want to go on a date with me or go somewhere, or get together, um, you know, I'll pay for it or I will um, offer um, to buy you something or, you know, it's weird. Um, I'm looking at this pentacle and I'm just seeing a plate. So it feels like, can we, you want to go have dinner? It feels like a plate, <laughs> a dinner plate. Oh my goodness. You're getting a lot of messages coming up throughout this time period into March. Um, a lot of suitors, a lot of generating a lot of interest. And you know, what's funny that I'm seeing here and I, I just have to show you this Virgo. Sometimes like just the pictures alone. Are enough without me intuiting anything all of all of this communication coming in here from from others or from someone in particular look at all that okay and in the meantime you're just like this you're not even paying attention you're so focused on what you're doing for yourself right now like it's like you don't want any distractions you're just like, I'm, I'm just trying to keep track of my abundance right now. You know, I feel like some of you knew that if you started doing this, you were going to start getting some, some suitors, so to speak. Um, but at the same time, some of you might be 
you could be getting messages on social media or wherever wherever that might be or if you're on a dating app you know how i feel about those dating apps but you know it's whatever i feel like a lot of you are just not fully ready to start dating because you're trying to get yourselves in a, a better position for yourself get your confidence in a particular area feel good physically because pentacles are all are all about the physical even though the wands is about action pentacles are about the physical all right so i feel like um you're very focused on the physical you know and of course virgo is all about the senses as well you know um i don't know i don't i kind of just feel like a lot of you aren't going to be i mean love is coming you know the opportunity a new opportunity love is coming into your life I don't know that you're ready to um, accept any offers from past, present, or future at this time because I really feel like you're just doing you. You're loving yourself right now, and I feel like you're in a really good place here with what these these messages are that are coming up. And you're building in silence. I feel like you're just kind of like behind the scenes doing what you need to do for yourself, and you're not really telling anybody. You're in this position of, you know, I'm gonna sh I'd rather show than tell. I'm not saying anything. You're very heavily involved in whatever it is that you're doing for yourself. Very focused. I love it. Let's see what the Romance Angels messages are here for you. Okay. Releasing your ex. Interesting. This might be inspiring to some of you. Or it might be something that's inspiring you to make changes. Okay, the time has come to clear your energy. A lot of you are clearing out that past energy as well. Um, maybe somebody ended something with you and you just decide, you know what? I'm just going to go do me right now and looking good. And that ex could be um, looking at you and like jaw dropping right now. Oh my gosh, what what is Virgo doing? Some of you, it's just you're doing you and you've got suitors coming in. You have people who are looking at you and... Also, you know, past, present, and future is how I'm feeling. Okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel like a lot of you are letting go of any... Like, that's what I was saying. You're, you're clearing out some bad energy or things that weren't working for you. Like I said, you've been cutting out drinking. You could be cutting out smoking. You could be cutting out any kind of, um, you know, maybe drug use. Maybe you're getting healthier, um, getting into recovery. Um, maybe you were involved with somebody in the past like that and you, and you, you know, you're not going back, you're healing the codependency. If there was like a relationship where maybe, um, two people were using or drinking too much or whatever. And, and I just feel like you're, you're cleansed. You're doing a cleanse. You're detoxifying everything in your life at this time. Let's see what else is going on. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. That's, that's your goal here. Not just for yourself like to like you have a purpose you know it's it's not like you're just setting this plan I see to get yourselves in better physical shape but you're doing it for a purpose you're doing it because you are looking for a healthier relationship you have you've got some of you created a vision board or like I said you've been working on that maybe it's on your computer or like physical you have it hanging up somewhere you're making your bucket list um, some of you are looking for a healthier relationship. You want someone, uh, it's kind of like you want what you are. And that's to someone who's healthy will be in alignment with you. That's making healthy choices, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, you know, and that's the kind of the thing. I feel like maybe that's just the inspiration. The thing that's getting you going is because you want to feel better, look better, and you want to, and you're trying to call in a soulmate, someone. You're not trying to call in a karmic or a, a toxic codependent twin flame kind of thing. You're calling in a soulmate, somebody who is right there with you, kind of doing the same thing and sharing in, um, <clears throat> and the, sharing in this vision that you have. Someone who has a similar vision as you, which is beautiful, very beautiful. I love your reading. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. So this just feels to me like you are getting in alignment with your beliefs and what you want. That's why I feel like everything's changing for you. Everything. It doesn't have to just be religious. I mean, it's more like a lot of you are just, you know, I just am hearing more dependent on um, your faith 
and spirit, maybe God, maybe you're changing your, your uh, religious beliefs as well. Um, some of you, okay, they're just saying um, whatever your religious belief, maybe some of you are going to start fasting based on your religious belief and use that as a start for a physical change in your health, your, you know, you're inducing autophagy, you're, you know, cleansing yourselves, you're doing a, um, maybe you're doing like a fruit fast or a water fast. <clears throat> you're just cleansing out all the toxins, okay? And that is in all areas of your life here. And you could be connecting with someone where you are both um, opposite, opposite. Um, you have different beliefs as well, um, or you're you're choosing someone who, or you are choosing someone who is similar to your own beliefs, right? Because I feel like that's for you a boon, um, and it could just be your spiritual beliefs. Um, like you could be someone who's very faithful. You have um, like you believe in higher power, and you don't want to believe in or, or you don't want to be with someone who doesn't have anything. You know what I mean? So that like someone could be an atheist and one person could believe in God. You, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not predicting that, but it feels like um, a lot of the way you were brought up, you're questioning. Um, I don't know that you're doubting. I just feel like you're questioning. Is this the right spiritual path? But I also feel like your spiritual healing is coming from your physical changes and the, the your physical self as well. Okay. You also have worth waiting for divine timings of work in your love life so i kind of feel like that's for you virgo where you're just like you know what i'm cool people can message me but i'm, I'm still staying focused on myself um if anybody is going to come into my life um they're gonna have to wait and if and either i'm gonna be worth waiting for for them or i'm not because right now i'm doing what i need to do for myself maybe you'll go out on a couple of dates and stuff nothing i don't see you getting serious with anyone just yet because you're very serious with yourself which is great and, and like i said it's not in an egotistical way it's just i have to do stuff for myself right now to get myself in a better position and um yeah that's what i feel like is going on here worth waiting for you're just like they can wait i'm not in a rush i i want to be at my best when I meet the best person for me. I don't want to be at my worst or my half-assed. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be half-assed when I meet somebody. I want, I, I don't. So I don't feel like you're looking for perfection. I don't feel like you're trying to be perfect. I just feel like you're trying to be progressive in your life. You know what I mean? So that energy feels very healthy to me. All right, they're just telling me to pull some of the, the Norman cards. So let's take a look and see. What's going on here? What is the Len Lenormand energy? Why is this coming in? But I do feel, Virgo, that there's... Um, you're opening up a whole new lovely can of worms here for yourself by taking care of yourself now um, or just continuing on what you've been doing. And I feel like you are truly... Um, going to start seeing results and if you're not seeing results just yet people are other people are seeing them and they're going to tell you um and that might just keep you inspired to keep going okay what the hell does this card say oh surprise oh there's a surprise coming in hmm you're going to be surprised Something that you're not expecting is going to come up for you. Let's see. Oh, sorry if you can hear the noise. It's my grandson. Let me see. What is a surprise? Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is what they're saying. Um, so we have malady. So you may catch a cold. So I feel like this is a message here. You're, you're, all right, here you go. You're on this path, you're progressing. So the path to success is always three steps forward, two steps back, three more steps forward, two steps back. Okay. Um, as you go through these physical changes, whatever you're doing, um, you go through, you plateau, you go through different levels. Okay. Sometimes these physical changes can be very, um, 
detrimental on your your body if you're doing too much too fast like in other words if you're just starting some kind of exercise routine and you are um if you're working out really hard and you you think you're doing everything right um and then like in two weeks you get on the scale and you haven't lost any weight you've gained weight that might be a surprise and you might not be feeling well i feel like this card if you can see this person laying in a bed i have to tell you i'm no i'm not a um i'm not a um trainer or anything physical fitness trainer or anything but i do know that your rest days are just as important as your workout days because your the days that you rest is when you're rebuilding and so what i feel like is if you are not some of you might be just going really hard because you're really enthused and you want to get something done and you really want to see results but if you go too hard um you're going to wind up <laughs> in bed and you're going to wind up sabotaging your routines or whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish you know if you are going really hard um, with nutrition and then you have like you have a piece of cake and uh, which is fine but then you wind up that continues for the rest of the week you might be surprised that you you may feel sick you may come down with just a cold or something um, or whatever's going around in the world and that might set you back and you might become a little discouraged but don't let that stuff discourage you just reorganize and figure out what set you back and how to get back on track that's what i feel like the message here that's what the surprise is coming up here okay um stay the course don't get sidetracked don't let anything sidetrack you because some of you might just be starting this off and you're getting enthused and you're not thinking about the pitfalls there's always pitfalls and you have to like adjust and you have to become uh, adaptable and work through them okay that, that was a very strong message for some of you i feel like you needed to know that you also have messenger so again that's now five times there's some type of message coming in for you somebody's gonna maybe there's gonna be a delivery uh it could be through the mail or you could be receiving a gift this is an envelope here um so you're getting a message let's take a look and see what this is messenger maybe it's a message through messenger if you use some kind of messenger <gasps> oh my goodness all right for some of you you may get a surprise that someone you know is sick i don't like this message because this is a death card uh, all right so some of you're going to get a message uh, i will say from a scorpio okay but you may be surprised to hear that somebody is very ill and um you may get a letter or a notice about that that you need to go see them this does not really feel like it's connected to what's going on here okay um are they on their deathbed i don't know i don't predict death but i am telling you that there will be some kind of message that somebody i don't know it's it, it that's just what it feels like but just remember you know tower readings are tower readings take them with a grain of salt it doesn't mean you know i'm talking to a whole bunch of people it doesn't mean that's what is actually going to happen um, this might be something that you're already aware about someone it could might not even be anybody you're connected to you just might hear something or find something out on social media about you know anybody okay um but apart from that message i do feel like you're going to be receiving some kind of message about some type of change that's coming through here oh it's a wedding okay somebody's somebody's you're gonna get a wedding invitation okay for some of you um or somebody is getting married or there's a message coming in for you that somebody wants to marry you okay <laughs> virgo very lovely very very lovely they just told me to get one more oh okay wait what the heck size oh this is like um size oh this is somebody 
Okay, so first of all, it could be a message you find out somebody's getting married and maybe it makes you sad, but I feel like um, it's like, oh, okay, well, something is ended, something's really over, this person's getting married. Um, but I also feel like if you're getting married, somebody reaches out and congratulates you, although they are... Um, kind of sad about that they're like <sighs> you know what I mean yeah uh, they just keep telling me to pull these cards what is this see I can't see because it's not oh widower oh my goodness all right this is really coming in um all right I'm because I'm going to stop with these cards but what I feel like is you get some communication or a letter or something comes in that somebody who was married um, passes away and they become a widower. That's what I that's what I'm hearing. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that there because I I don't want to I don't want to keep going into that. That's that's heavy duty message there. All right, let's just do a couple of dates, names, what have you, and see what shows up here. Dates and names. Um, also, you guys, keep an eye on the community section tab here on my channel as I am announcing a new spiritual forum, a bulletin board forum that I have built. And it is live right now. I am going to be posting the link. You can register to the forum. Um, you'll get your own uh, profile. And you will be able to participate in topics, conversations, all kinds of really cool things. Um, I am the forum owner and I'm running it. It is called Oversoul. Um, so I want you guys to keep your eyes on the community section where I'm going to be announcing that. And then I will start putting the link in my um, description box here under my videos. So you'll be able to join. It's free to join. And there are topics and... Um, categories that are private that people have to become a member in order to participate in it but it's all kinds of good good stuff that we're talking tarot cards we're talking readings we're talking favorite youtube channels we're talking dating love relationships uh, favorite movies all kinds of cool stuff okay all right so i just heard g7 g7 is that like the summit g7 summit i know there's like some type of war coming up or something with ukraine and russia so i don't know if that's connected to anything but um somebody's birthday is on the third could also be on they're telling me the 21st okay some of you need to get gas in your car some of you are very low on gas right now you need to go refill your tank um, okay, I'm getting area code 710 as well. Okay. Some of you need to refill that uh, food tank. Make sure you're eating enough if you're working out. You're doing physical fitness. Don't starve yourself or you're never going to lose weight if you're trying to lose weight. Energy in, energy out. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, somebody, I'm just picking up palm trees here. I'm just picking up palm trees. And somebody's buying a new pair of shoes or just bought a new pair of shoes or is sitting in a shoe store getting their, their shoes fitted or something, trying on shoes. Okay. Um, they just gave me the name Sam or Samantha. And um, somebody's birthday is on, oh, the birthday is the 5th. Um, hmm. Somebody plays The Sims. Sims. S-I-M. Oh. <laughs> they just said, somebody is not sure if they should write Miss, M-I-S-S, -S, or M-S, Ms. 
maybe a letter comes addressed to you um and it's you know maybe you're no longer a missus or you're a female and now it's like wait am i a miss or my miss I, I mean depending on your age of course but i don't know if somebody's questioning that or they're you're starting to get mail without the mrs in it or you've been and it just looks weird to you okay oh q q we have two q's okay q q i don't know what that means q q two q's okay hmm And the 14th, I'm picking up the 14th. Uh, letter H, we always get H. Um, the second, also um, 1111, you might be seeing that, seeing those numbers, 1111, a lot, or 111. That's um, a spiritual intuitive message, um, a download. So when you see 1111, be mindful of where you are when you see it, because I feel like that's really important, um, wherever you are. And you're also getting message. Somebody is just messaging you, and the first thing they say is hi, like H-I, hi, just hi, not hello, not how are you. Um, when somebody says hi, I feel like it's somebody that you know. So whoever whoever's messaging you and they just say hi, that's it's somebody that you know will be messaging you with that. Okay. Let's get some charms. Okay. We have a dove with a four leaf clover. And we have oh well that's like a bass or a cello. Okay. So some type of stringed instrument. That's Prince when doves cry right there. Oh, and we have Saturn. Okay. So what sign is ruled by Saturn? I can never forget. Is it Sagittarius? Is it Sagittarius? I think it is. Or is it Capricorn? I think it's Sagittarius. I don't know. I can never remember. I should write it down. <coughs> Saturn. Okay. All right. Something to do with Twitter. Somebody's on Twitter. Somebody's tweeting. There might be some message on Twitter that you get. Somebody messages you on Twitter. Oh, and we have the tree. Beautiful. Planting roots is what I feel like you're doing. Or maybe you're somewhere near a big, beautiful, a big, beautiful tree. Or you're seeing the leaves are either starting to come back on the trees or they're beginning to fall off the trees. Here also... You see that you see the tree and you see the little ring at the top that's the golden apple that's you virgo you're at the top and i feel like you're at this point in your life now where you know whoever's not willing to climb to the top of the tree you know and put the effort in um to want to be with me or to you know and i'm talking about in romance here um they can just stay at the bottom where all the rotten apples are if they're not willing to climb because that's all they're going to get because virgo's not at the bottom of the tree not getting any sunlight and just rotting away like those apples are first to fall off the tree. You're way up top right there in the sunlight, okay? And I feel like that's a, a very strong message for you that that's the position you need to be in where you are the golden apple. You are valuing yourself. You're not, you're, you're confident. You're not, um, not hanging around at the bottom of the, the apple tree. You, you don't hang there. Maybe at one point in your life you felt like you were there. You're not there anymore. You have no interest in being down there. You're you're leveling up. The phoenix is rising. You're rising yourself up. Um, I feel like there's a lot of peace and luck coming to you. And also, maybe you're lis listening to some very beautiful opera type music or something, or you're learning some new songs on, um, you know, like a, a stringed instrument or something, or somebody's learning to play bass, or somebody was did play bass or some type of musical instrument i feel like the if you're creating music it's it's stellar music it's like out of this world if you're creating something on your own and i feel like you can be very lucky with that um that you're going to get noticed or recognition for your music 
So I'm going to leave your messages there. I know the ending part was short and sweet. Um, but if, again, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. And don't forget to keep an eye on the community tab here on my channel so you guys can join my forum. It'll be very, very, very cool. You're going to be a part of something amazing, I promise. All right, you guys, I will see you all in a day or two. Have a wonderful week and wonderful night. Wonderful start to your week and talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.